Oh my god. My cat is so annoying, frame one. Okay, hello everyone, this is Solonar aka Chad. We're gonna do this really quickly. Um, week five of TGR, going up against Cavs. Um, yeah. So, he has, uh, this is his team. Um, he's got some good stuff. Um, just very bringable team. Like, all of his, like, like 10 out of these 12 mods are super bringable. The matchup. Um... Well, Fable's a Terra Captain, Flying and Electric. Ludicolo is a Terra Captain, Fire and Electric. Salamence is a Terra Captain, Electric and um, Dark. And Squawkabilly is a Terra Captain, Normal Flying. Um, so yeah, he like his top tiers are all very bringable. This is a super bringable core. Um, and then Pelipper in the D tier. Oh, I have to go get my cat. Hello to the camera, you scoundrel. And there's the cat, I'm guilty. Um, she will just have to wait for the YouTube video, just like everyone else. <laughs> um, yeah, so he's got this rain mode with Pelipper, Kingdra, and the two water grasses. Salamence is just a really bringable one. Uh, Clefable is really good redirection. So the team is just, his team is just really good. I'm not going to go over my team because I just want to get the match started. So maybe I'll go over the team really quickly. Excuse me. Oh yeah, I guess I need to switch over to the other screen now, huh? There we go. Yeah, so his team is super good. My team matches up pretty mediocre into it. I don't have the best matchup versus other rain teams, so that was challenging to say the least. The matchup to like be matched up versus that. The matchup was way easier, but he made a trade. And with his trade, he picked up uh, Pelipper, which is uh, challenging for us. So the six I'm expecting him to bring are um, Mian Zhao, and then Ogre Pond Water, Ludicolo, Kingdra, Salamence, and Pelipper. Those are the six I'm expecting. He might slot in Heatran, maybe. I don't think so, but Heatran would be a bit of a tough matchup for us to run into, so hopefully he hopefully he didn't bring that on. <laughs> We've got some cool tech this week. I'm really excited to show this stuff off. Um, a lot of pretty basic builds, but a couple of pretty cool ones too, so but yeah, this is the team. Get a good look at it. Utility umbrella, Palmot. You definitely see that, right? <clears throat> Let me just go over it real quick, check everything, make sure items are right, Terra's are right. Everything's looking pretty good. Items look right. AV, utility, Terra, natural cure, competitive. Yep, all right. Everything looks straight. So yeah, this is the team that I'm bringing. I am not bringing Rain, so funny. And then this will be Gustavo's first week on the bench. But yeah, we're going up against Kev's. Have fun. Have fun to Kev's, and we'll just roll with it. Okay, not exactly what I thought. Um, so no Ludicolo. Uh, does bring ments, brings that flag on. Was not expecting that flag on. Um, he's missing another mod. No Mian Zhao and no Heat Ran. Okay, those are both good mods for him to not have for me. Brings three, two Terra Captains. He has Terra Clefable, Terra Mints. No Heat Ran is great. Flag on is a bit scary, so I'll have to be careful of that, but. Really liking 
um, no fake out is also really good. It, it does mean that I have a wasted item on this fella, but that's okay. Oh gosh, I almost just want to do uh, so Titan plus Clef Key. Seems pretty good. Um, who do I want in the back? I have 30 seconds to decide. Kilowatt seems okay in the back. Could get walled pretty hard. I think I'll just do Glim and Ape. Seems fine. Yeah, we'll roll with it. I have no speed control besides just having a scarf option. <laughs> so we'll see what they we'll see what he brings. Yeah, we're going up against Kevs, so... Been a while since I've played this guy, so... Lead Salamence and Clefable. Alright, I'm expecting a little Dragon Dance action. No Intimidate, it's Moxie. Okay. Good to know. I don't really need to do anything right now, I'm just gonna degleam for some damage. Uh, I have no other Terra Captain on my team, so it's pretty safe for me to go for Terra. And then my strongest move is Sheer Force Play Rough into this Ments, so we'll go for it. <clears throat> he could Terrastalize, but that, that's fine. D-Gleam lets me get a little bit of chip on him. I think he's going to set up on this turn with the D-Dance or something like that, so... Um, he Terra is probably into that Terra... Uh, electric, I'm expecting that. Terra Electric is fine. My, uh, my Glamora lead would have gone crazy versus this lead from him. So there's Terra Electric, that's fine. I'm Terra Fairy this week, not Terra Water, so... I'll get some Sheer Force boosted action off, which is good. His Clefable probably just clicks follow me, but that's okay. No follow me, so I'm gonna get some pretty good damage off here. So I hit my player off. This is Sheer Force Terra Fairy. It's gonna deal a bunch. That's great damage. Get some more chip off with D-Gleam. That's really good. T-Wave into the Titan. It's not great, but it's not horrible either. So now, oh gosh, in this turn I'll set up a Reflect. I could also just opt to Protect and D-Gleam here, but I think I just want damage, so I'm going to try to play rough this Salamence again. Although, what does Salamence really have to hurt me, right? I think all it has is like Terra Blast or EQ, so... If it has EQ, then it's hitting his own Clefable. So I'm just going to D-Gleam again. And I'll go for Play Rough into Clef this time. Mince Protects. Nice. Going to get some damage off here, hopefully. So get a little bit of chip into Clef with the D-Gleam. Next turn, I can go for uh, Reflect. So just T-Waves again. I mean, it's not great, but it's, it's, it is what it is, right? That was bound to happen. I have outs, right? Like, I can go for um, Sludge Wave, so it's not completely cooked yet. Um, I just go for Reflect now, and I go for Play Rough into Clefable, I think, because I need to get some damage into this guy. So, <laughs> I guess it was safer to go for Mints there, because Clef could protect, but... All right, we do get Reflect up. That's that's big. It's Rock Slide. Ooh, we don't love seeing Rock Slide. Alluring Voice. That's not too much. Ah, bound to happen. Bound to happen. I'm coping. Bound to happen. We go for D-Gleam. We go for Play Rough. Alluring Voice is interesting. If Titan starts getting low, then I'm going to have to start protecting with it, so... Paraflinch is an interesting strat. I was not expecting that from this lead, but I guess it does make sense, so... 
Oh, Ogre Pond would have done so well. Oh, P Fangs is cool. That's a cool tech. Okay, that's fine. It's a free switch into Ogre Pond, so. or into uh, my uh, Glamora, so. Unlucky, the double para, but. Oh my gosh, dude, triple para! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we switch into Reyna here. We go for Sludge Wave. We go for... Um, I mean, he's de-danced up, but I can't imagine it'll do too much damage to me. So, we go for Metal Sound. Or no, we go for Reflect here, actually. And then we go for Sludge Wave here. I could have just gone for the one play, because now he's just going to paralyze me. Oh, he just double protects. Okay. He's trying to read Meteor Beam, but this is actually a free turn for me. Because <laughs> now on the next turn I can go for Metal Sound and Sludge Wave, so... I've gotten so unlucky, I got triple paralyzed. <laughs> Well, I guess he can go for P-Fangs into my Reyna. That's gonna hurt, no? Well, no matter. Anyway, I mean, there's nothing we can do about it now, so... <laughs> so we know the full men's set. Oh, and we get the immediate... Ooh, quadruple para! Those P-Fangs. Doesn't kill me, that's good. Reflect is gone, which sucks, but... T-Spikes are up, which is nice, but... We get Sludge Wave off. If this killed Clef, that would be great, but... Yeah, I mean, we get a little bit unlucky there with the, um... Yeah, we get a little bit unlucky with the Paralysis keeping us from using Metal Sound, so... Clef is probably just going for T-Wave here, which would be really bad. We get a Mist, okay, that helps. That helps, for sure. That helps for sure. Um, Glamour is in a pretty good spot here now. I can go for Metal Sound with, uh, with it. Yeah, I mean, I got quadruple full parrot. I, I deserve that. It's Kingdra, okay. The last one's probably Pelipper. So I'm gonna go for my cool play here. Are you guys ready for my, you guys ready for my cool play? I'm gonna set up Sandstorm. Uh, in case the Pelipper switches in, because then Kingdra won't outspeed and I'll get damage off the Sludge Wave here. So. Oh, please let, please let me hit through <laughs> my Para. Oh, this tech is so cool. Please, I deserve it. Come on, dog. No! Oh, god damn it. Oh, that sucks. Oh my god. Oh. Dude, that is just fucking brutal. <laughs> that is just brutal. It's Life Orb that was predicted. Yeah, I mean, what fucking what can you do, man? Like, I made the right play and have gotten quad quintuple full para. Quintuple five fucking full paras, man. <laughs> oh, you hate to see it. So there's Ape. Um. I think it's still worthwhile to set up the Sandstorm here. Um, go for Rage Fist into this Kingdra. Surf is cool. It's an interesting option. This Pelipper would be dead. Kingdra would have taken damage. I would have won the game with that. I go for T-Punch so that he can't... Uh, so that he can't set up the, uh, Tailwind. Okay. Let's just double protect here. Nope. Okay. So, if he's timid, then he'll get Tailwind off, but he is timid, okay. Yeah, I mean, this is the play I wanted to get off on the last turn, right? And it's like, it's too late now. Um, so he's probably Sash then, if that's the case. The good news is that this isn't over yet. Kingdra's gonna be taking a bunch of recoil here from that and the life orb. 
His Kingdra's also pretty fast because it outsped me, so... So now Clefable comes back in, which is fine. Now he's poisoned. Um, this is probably unaware, if I were to guess, so... So I don't have Reflect Up. I don't think that matters. I go for D-Gleam here. Um... Gunk Shot's technically my safest move. <laughs> I'm gonna go for Rage Fist into Clefable here, I think. Because that guy needs to go, so... Clef has T-Wave, Alluring Voice, and Protect. Kingdra has Surf, and Pelipper has Weather Ball. We do have AV on our Annihilate, which is very good. He has to hit into Annihilate if he wants to yep, deal any damage. That's fine. I don't think that that crit matters because he's Life Orb, so... Um, and now we're at plus one Rage Fist, which is really strong. That should take Kingdra out here. That's Life Orb Chip, and then he'll take Sand Chip as well. And then, yep, the the Clef Key actually gets a frag from the Sandstorm that it set up. So, despite that absolutely horrendous luck, and that tiny little bit of good RNG that we've got with the... <laughs> the tiny, tiny little bit of good RNG we got with the T-Wave Miss, we still managed to... To come out with a W on this one. So that's that's good. Annihilate really carried his weight there. Surf Kingdra is a really interesting option. I'm really surprised to see no Scald. But I guess it makes sense, right? He has Ogre Pond. And, um, yeah. So he probably expects it to be Scarf, if I'm guessing. Maybe not. Maybe I can still catch him off guard with the Scarf. The choice Scarf. I'm gonna... I mean, it was raw to Titan lead, so, like... I'm gonna lead Glamora this time. I really liked late game Ape. It did a lot of work. Oof. Late game Kilowatt does not have good synergy with Sandstorm, so... I think I need to Titan in case he brings the, um, the Flygon. And I think I just really like Annihilate here. So I'm, I'm going to go with the same four. I think the entire Clef Key set was... No, uh, Metal Sound wasn't revealed yet. So I still have the opportunity to do well with that. The Clefable is Citrus Berry. We don't know the Roaring Moon item. Um, and we know the Roaring Moon's full set. Psychic Fangs and Rock Slide. So... Alright. Mince and Clefable again, that's fine. We have a really great opportunity to just destroy this Clefable here. We're gonna lock Sludge Wave. And we're gonna go from Metal Sound into Clefable. Drop its special attack by two stages and destroy it with uh, Stab Sludge Wave. Mince cannot flinch my Clef Key with, uh, with the Rock Slide, which is really nice because of the Covert Cloak. This would be a pretty, a pretty big turn. Um, he could just go for Dragon Dance, but if he does, then he'll take Sludge Wave, which is really strong damage, so. Withdraw Salamence into what? Kingdra, or uh, Flygon? It is Flygon, okay. Clef protects. I get the tiniest little bit of damage into into Flygon from Sludge Wave, but won't do too much. I do have Sea Titan in the back. That's not bad. Is that a crit? Yeah, that's a big crit. Well, I um. I don't think I really mind if Clefable, or if Glamora goes down here, it will have gotten off a ton of damage. Uh, I can't imagine, unless it's like Choice Banded Flygon, that it will kill my Clef Key. So, he's not just going to let Clefable take a, um, 
He's not just gonna let Clefable take Sludge Wave plus Metal Sound. He's gonna probably switch it out. Um, so it's a good turn for me to set up Reflect here for the rest of the team. Or maybe even go for D-Gleam. For some Chip. Into Flygon. Yep, he switches that out. Maybe Reflect was the better play, but... Last Mon is Pelipper. Pretty neutral. So I get Sludge Wave. Not gonna do anything. That's fair damage. Is that a second crit into Flygon? Nope. It's just Earthquake. Is he Choice Banned? The fact- this makes me think he's Choice Banned. It is. It's totally Choice Banded. Okay. I think he has to be Choice Banned in order to kill the... In order to kill Plucky like that, so... Yeah, that was a pretty bad turn. It's about as bad as it gets. But he can't feel safe because the Titan does have access to Ice Shard as an attack, so... I should have just set up Reflect there. That was way safer. Since I knew that the switch was going to happen. Probably would have let Clefki live the turn. And now I'm just really behind, I think. Now I'm just about to eat Hurricane plus Earthquake here into my Annihilate, and there's nothing I can really do about it. Yep. Good prep on his part. Hurricane into C Titan. Can't imagine this kills. But this is a pretty hefty ask for <laughs> Annihilate to be able to finish, so... Ice Spinner. <sighs> yeah, Banded Flygon. It's tough. That's definitely tough. Yeah, we know the mods in the back. Pretty heavy hitters. Psychic Fangs will likely kill my Annihilate. The next turn, I think I'm going to switch over to Kilowatt. It gives me access to Tailwind. And then with Satitan, I'll have access to a bunch of damage. So I think I still like the Scarf Glamora, but I definitely like Annihilate in the back. I'm going to Protect here. And I'm going to go for Gunk Shot into Clefable. No, I think actually just at this point, Rage Fist is stronger. I think I just have to hope for a Rock Slide miss. Or like maybe a Dragon Dance. We gotta hope for a misplay here. He doesn't protect or he's I think he might be going for follow me because he didn't terrestrialize yep that reveals the clefable's fourth move by the way we know the full set now it is dragon dance so if I hit both of these attacks it will deal fair damage this should do a bunch uh, I think with the Citrus Berry, it'll probably survive. Yep, Citrus Berry will keep it alive, pass the poison, and that will probably help him to win this game. He played it well. Um, not going to complain about, about that. That was definitely a poor play on my part to go for Dazzling Gleam over Reflect, which I think would have been better in the long run. But I think the big thing is that I just need to bring Kilowatt as a way to have a immunity to Earthquake. Especially if I'm going to bring a team that's just so weak to ground. I'm going to go for Protect here. Hope that he goes for Rock Slide. And then click Rage Fist into the Salamence. And if he clicks Rage Fist, or if he clicks Rock Slide here instead of... But obviously his winning play is to go for Psychic Fangs into my Annihilate, so...
I think that his, uh, Salamence is likely holding a Mirror Herb. It is Psychic Fangs. Yep, he made the right play. But I was playing towards a misplay anyway, so it's fine. There's Moxie. It's fine. Oh, he was just going for a luring voice, so yeah. Well played. Um, definitely gonna have to adjust. Go for a play rough. <laughs> yeah, Flygon just getting two KOs was just really not good. No, but I know it's choice banned now, so. And even if I don't win this game, it, it's still been a very good set, so it's been fun. I mean, that first game was really, really stress-inducing, so. But I think I just need Tailwind from Kilowattril. Um, so, yeah, we know that. Um, No Ogre Pond, he's just continued to opt to not bring it. So I think we I think we go with Kila Watch Roll here. I almost like Kila Watch Roll plus Glamora as a lead. Deals a lot of puts a lot of pressure on to my opponent. <laughs> Sludge Bomb does a fair bit of damage into his entire team. We know Annihilate takes Earthquake pretty well, so I think I'm just going to lead Kilowattril and Reyna, and then I'll have my damage dealers in the back. Because I like these two for damage. I think that they both do pretty well. Sludge Bomb puts on a bunch of pressure. Power Gym even puts on a fair bit of pressure too. With these two, I have a very fast lead, so he cannot T-wave my um, Kilowattril either. And obviously he's not Mirror Herb on his Salamence because he's not running Intimidate into my Annihilate, so... I don't know what item he has on that Salamence, hard to say. Obviously, Terra Electric is a bit concerning. He has good ways to wall Kilowattril, but Kilowattril does always have the chance to go for Flinch with Air Slash, which is nice. I am basically doing a pretty big gamble not going with Klefki here, because if he leads Hard Rain, that's a pretty big punish. <laughs> I didn't really think of that, didn't consider that. Not my favorite lead, but... Not my favorite lead, but not a horrible one either. I'm gonna set up Tailwind here. I almost just want to switch in to Titan Raw into, into this slot. Have immediate pressure into... The Flygon on the next turn. I don't see what I get out of keeping Glamora in on this turn. So, bring in Titan here. We are going to see Terra Electric from the Salamence pretty early on. Could have gone for like a Sludge Bomb into that slot for some damage for Titan to clean up. But it means that he's not walking into Earthquake, which is good. Probably Rock Slide. It is. Miss on Kilowattril would be big. We get it. Big damage because we're not a fairy type yet, but okay. Dragon Dance is not great, but it's 
So I think our strongest move is actually play rough, does the most damage into the Salamence. Yeah, that miss into the Flygon was pretty big. From the Flygon was pretty big. I think High Horsepower is still stronger than Terra Fairy Play Rough. The Terra Fairy Play Rough is just so safe and so strong, boosted by sheer force. Air Slash gets a little bit of chip onto whatever he's switching in, which is good. We take the chip damage into Clefable. He probably just protects. I guess I could have easily further punished this play on his end by doubling up into Salamence, but... I missed my Air Slash. I guess that's punishment for... He Dragon Dances again. He's now faster than my... Here he was already faster than my Satitan. He's now even faster than it. I hit Play Rough. Very good. This should do good damage. Yep. We know from the last game that that does good damage. And so we Air Slash into Clefable again. And he probably just goes for Rock Slide on this turn. I have two turns of Tailwind left. He could protect with Salamence, but I get the feeling that he'll just go for Rock Slide. And at this rate, I have a chance to flinch him with Air Slash, so he protects. I don't know if I understand that Protect play on his end, but just double Protect. I think that's okay. So this is my last turn of Tailwind. He'll likely just go for follow me here, but I want to keep my Focus Sash intact, so I will protect. Um, my safest play is play rough into this Mints for the most damage. It's follow me, that's fine. I mean, I guess. <laughs> it's Rock Slide. Should take this pretty well with Titan. I've gotten very unfortunate in this game, I think. Um, I think, like, exceptionally unfortunate between the two games. Um, it's not great, but we still have outs. Need to get Tailwind set up, and I think it's just I have to let Titan go down here. I would have liked to have gotten the damage off into Clefable, for... <sighs> yeah, just follow me. I'm hoping for a Rock Slide miss here. Double miss would be good. Double miss. Brought down to my Focus Sash. If I could get Tailwind up here, the game is still very salvageable. Yep. This game has not been going very well for me. There's Moxie. It's not a great... Thing to see. We do get Tailwind back up, which is good. Okay, the game is very salvageable from this state. We can now switch in to <clears throat> Lamora, start going for Sludge Wave. Which should KO Salamence from this range. Tailwind is up, but he just protects. He's probably just going for protect. Oh, I guess protect and thunder wave is a pretty safe play for him, but he doesn't go for it, so that's okay. I have a really safe play on my end now in this next turn. I can go for sludge wave and switch into annihilate, which will both activate rage fist uh, by one stage as well as do some pretty solid chip. Feeling a little bit of the 
negative luck from not getting damage off into Clefable from the Rock Slide Punch, but okay. We got one Rock Slide miss, which I guess helps. Goes for Follow Me, that's okay. Sludge Wave plays around that. Salamence goes down and Clefable takes a lot of damage, which is good. We'll activate the Citrus Berry, but that's alright. I also have the option to save Vamora if I want, so... If he brings Flygon back in. Which he likely will. We know that the Flygon is choice banned from the damage before. So I have... One turn of Tailwind left, so... I think my best play is to go for Rage Fist into Flygon and go for another Sludge Wave here. Um, this play fails me pretty poor, pretty badly if if Clefable survives the turn. But that's the play we go for. Come on, Glamora, very strong. Well, Fable just barely survives. That's not really what we wanted to see. Now I'm going to eat an Earthquake. That's not great. But the good news is that Annihilate will survive. That's just... Because now he has Pelipper as the last Mon, and he's gonna have he's gonna have a uh, Focus Sash on it. So really feeling the effects of the uh, really feeling the effects of the Rock Slide miss or the Rock Slide flinch now, which is very sad. I think the only play that I have is to... I don't really have a play. I, I don't have one that wins me the game. He goes for Hurricane into Annihilate and then that will just kill me. I think my out is to go for Air Slash Flinch into Surviving with Annihilate. I don't even know if I made the correct play. I need... Uh, Annihilate to survive this turn, or to get a flinch into Pelipper. Annihilate survives, we get the flinch, okay? That was big. That was game-winning flinch, I mean. Because now on this next turn we just go for Rage Fist and Tailwind and that should seal it. We played to our only out though, and I think that was the out. There's Tailwind, he's obviously banned, locked into EQ, so he can't attack my... Yeah, I mean, now now I just... I cannot complain about any RNG that went against me, because getting the Rock Slide miss into the Air Slash Flinch was what allowed me to win, so I can't be upset about any RNG there. Um, hell of a game. Wow, oh my gosh, hell of a game. Played by Kevs. Super Haxy, very, very Haxy set. He ended up bringing lots of really good techs to beat me this week. But, yeah, the Assault Vest on Annihilate really ended up coming in clutch. Had very good synergy next to the Glamora. So, I'm pleased that my techs did well. And yeah, just good games to Kev's, hopefully. Hopefully this video turned out decent but yeah all right well that was week five of the tgr definitely one of my closest matches um yeah i'll see you all in the next video